Techno Seed Agronomist Robert Coster, and we'll talk a little bit about southern rust management, particularly in late corn. Now, this was a May planted corn plot, and we had southern rust move into this plot very late. Actually, when I looked at it, the corn was around R3 when southern rust was just moving in. At that point, usually we think we're past the point of spraying a fungicide, and the southern rust is not going to hurt us past that point. I want to point out a couple of things we're seeing in this plot. Uh, you know, if you look at the ears, like I said, we're, we're looking like we got pretty good ears here, pretty good size on the ears, but we notice we got premature death. This stalk's just completely died on us, and if we take, we can start pushing those over, we notice that those stalks inside there are really getting soft at the very bottom and squishy. Now, this corn's still pretty wet, but even this has got some green in it, you can see the nodes are going to break very easily for us. Uh, as we go across to where the same hybrid where we sprayed a fungicide, like I said, at R3, we got a lot better plant health still in these ears and these plants, uh, maintaining that stalk integrity all the way down the all the way down the plant here. Mash on that, you know, those stalks and uh, nodes are still very very firm, and so not only are we preserving plant health but also stalk integrity then the second thing i want to point out is ear size now i've got two ears here uh, and they look real similar they're both 16 around get around a shadow uh, 16 around they look real similar but as you look closer you notice the kernel depth size is different the ear on your right hand side this one right here was the out of the block that was not sprayed the fungicide the one on your left hand side was sprayed the fungicide so remember, we're filling kernel weight and kernel size up to black layer. So this hybrid got southern rust at R3 through R4, and that inhibited the amount of uh, nutrients we could push to that kernel, which reduced kernel size. And so we have a reduction in kernel size, which is going to reduce yield. Same number of rounds, but as we put it in the truck and run it across the scale, we're going to have less pounds uh, per uh, acre on that, uh, that hybrid that we'd not spray with the fungicide so we're still you can still see the southern rust in here but that fungicide did a really good job inhibiting uh, that from continuing to blow up and continue to run down the stalk and uh, take the plant integrity out uh, of this hybrid so southern rust management it's one of those you got to know your hybrid susceptibility to it uh, how susceptible it is at southern rust what's the uh, repercussions of not controlling this disease even at late season i know the economical piece is there but again that's why you got to know evaluate your hybrids know how susceptible they are to southern rust and start planting that out whether you're on a spray of fungicide or not just a real quick demo of what we got from the same hybrid no fungicide fungicide at r3